What is up guys, welcome back to another J Speed Racing video. Today we have a Berger Motorsport automatic transmission cooler for my 335. We're gonna show you a few tips and tricks along the way. This is actually a rebuild series that we're doing on the channel. So make sure to go subscribe, check out the playlist. I'll go ahead and link it here if you have not already seen it. We're currently in the state of rebuilding the front end on this car and a good upgrade from the stock automatic transmission cooler, which should look a little something like this. This is actually cooled by coolant and fins inside this little canister. So the transmission fluid actually runs through these lines and back out and the coolant runs through this one and also this one as well. So what the stock one looks like is actually bolts underneath to a fan and it gets sandwiched between the pulleys and the, and the fan, which there isn't much clearance there. So a good upgrade from that is this beautiful kit that Berger Motorsports makes. I'll make sure to link it down uh, in the description. Uh, replaces the coolant cooled fluid with air cooled. So this is actually a big old cooler that sits in the wheel well. We have your lines that connect to the cooler and then these little push locks go right into the factory lines. And then here is the beautiful, nice black cooler that will sit in the driver's side wheel well. It has some hardware with it as well that'll allow us to clamp onto the frame. Something else that I really like about this kit, it actually comes with block offs that fit into the factory coolant hose. So that way you don't have to do any sort of customization. You just take these little aluminum block off plates, shove it in the coolant line, it's capped, it's sealed, you're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have everything already torn down. We have the bumper off, we have the crash bar off. I'm not. You don't really have to take some of that stuff off. Like I said, this is a rebuilt car. If you're doing this to your BMW, make sure you go disassemble stuff, get the old one out, and let's get on to installing the new one. Okay, we're figuring some stuff out. So essentially what this little piece does is pinches onto the side of the frame rail. There are two back pieces in the kit. One is perfectly flat like this. And then the other one has a little bit of a corner chunk taken out of it. I cannot figure out what is the what the corner chunk is for. I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat one. Maybe it's for a different model and year. The first step once you have everything out of the car, which we already do, is to go ahead and bolt this little guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start these hex bolts just a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide it over the frame and then tighten it down. What that essentially is gonna do is cinch this to the frame and then we'll have a mounting point here for the bracket for the cooler. Now what I'm gonna do since the little bracket is pinched onto the frame, I'm actually gonna go ahead and bolt the whole cooler up into place, which you're gonna get kind of a final shot. That's kind of where it's gonna sit. That's kind of where it's gonna end up. Let's go ahead and put a few bolts in right there. That way we can see where she sits. So now what we can do is kind of get an eyeball of where we need to go ahead and get that other bracket because there's a bottom bracket as well. I think that pinches onto the underneath side of the same frame rail. I gotta get these little bolts on first to situate this bracket because it's gotta sit up. Did I do this wrong, Andy? So it's like that. That's how it's gonna end up. The instructions, I believe, say to trim this plastic piece a little bit. However, Andy, do you think they did that just for airflow or do you think they did that for clearance? Um, I don't know. Got the cooler all mounted. Now it's time to block off the coolant lines with these really nice anodized little aluminum caps they provide you with. First one is coming from the radiator. Take this little guy, simple as that. That's capped. Go ahead and zip tie it away so it doesn't get into the belt. And then the other coolant line is right here coming from this hard line and then we're going to click it into that as well like so and we're done
already just got back from the test drive. What I ended up doing for the cooler is starting it up, let the fluid move throughout the system a little bit more, kind of fill the cooler a little bit, and then we got it up in the air and topped it off, which was down like what, a quart nearly, maybe a quarter and a half. So I'm not sure how much fluid that that cooler actually holds. We got more trans fluid in there. She's looking good. Nothing's leaking. I really like how it turned out. You can see down here, we still got to work on the zip tie lines just a little bit, but you can kind of situate it how you please. And of course the bumper will be over here, but you should be able to see a little bit of it through that air duct coming in from that bumper, which is really nice. Uh, she's pretty sturdy. Lines look cool. Everything looks really nice. Uh, really good product. Make sure to go check them out down in the description. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like again, if you haven't already, subscribe. Make sure to do that. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up as well. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.